Let's talk about your journey. The Gatorade Player of the Year in high school, backup at Texas A&M, transfer, backup at Oklahoma to Baker Mayfield, Heisman Trophy winner, number one overall pick. The Arizona Cardinals select. Baseball the entire time, and you're drafted by the Oakland A's. Then Oklahoma's Heisman winning QB, Kyler Murray. The two sports star was a first round pick in baseball by the Oakland Athletics last summer. But ever since Murray announced that he would focus on football, the debates on his NFL potential have really populated sports talk shows across the country. While concerns over his height will always be there, the 5 foot 10 inch Murray has done nothing but silence his doubters ever since high school. In three seasons, he never lost a game as Allen High School starter. He led the Eagles to three Texas State Championships and he was the Gatorade National Player of the Year as a senior. While the term dual threat is used a lot, Murray knew back then that there were very few quarterbacks in his class. I don't, to be honest, dual threat is over, like it's overrated to me now. Like, you know, people running five flats, you know, five ones, you know, you, that's that's a dual threat quarterback nowadays, you know. I, to me, there's only like a couple dual threats, in, you know, like Russell, Cam, you know, Aaron Rodgers can move, uh, but dudes like that, uh, that that's to, to me dual threat. When he scrambles, he's really looking to scramble to throw the ball, not as opposed to scrambling to run it. So uh, when you talk about dual threat guys, uh, just because he has a little speed, that's what they talk about. But uh, he's looking to, when he scrambles, he's looking to throw the football first. So, uh, you know, we like him throwing it. Similar to how some question his ability to transition to the NFL now, there were those same doubts about him four years ago when he was entering college. I, I want to be that guy, you know, that's what, that's what I've dreamed of, you know, going to a college, you know, being that dude, doing what I love. I know what I'm doing here is not, you know, nobody's going to care what I do, you know, here when I get up there. So I'm just going to have to take it day by day and uh, hopefully, you know, earn my stripes and, you know, be able to do what I do. Murray certainly earned his stripes in his one season leading Oklahoma. Now the Heisman winner looks to be in great position to be a first round pick and possibly number one. I think the majority of people, when they think who is the best high school football player of all time, the majority of people would put him number one. He's the best high school football player I've ever seen. I've only coached one of those guys. I mean, I'd love to coach another one. I couldn't compare him to anybody. He was just such an incredible player. You could tell that he was always ready for the moment. Kyler is literally one of the most competitive people you'll ever meet. Completely aside from football, it's, it's, it's incredible. They've been incredible ever since Kyler Murray showed up on campus as a young sophomore. I didn't grow up in Allen. Uh, you know, I grew up in Louisville, Texas. Magazine named Murray its National Player of the Year. Last night, after a home visit from Texas A&M head coach Kevin Sumlin, Murray reaffirmed his commitment to play football for the Aggies. Coach Sumlin, he's dealing with all this stuff. My dad's dealing with all this stuff. You know, he hears everything. You know, we hear it all. So just, you know, it was good for me to just shut it down and just say, you know, I'm going to A&M. Last May, Murray verbally committed to Texas A&M in a press conference. I'll be attending the University of Texas A&M. But verbal is not binding and nothing is official until National Signing Day. Last week, Murray tweeted a picture of a Texas Longhorns jersey with his number one on it. I didn't think it was going <laughs> to blow up like that. I mean, I knew we knew it would blow up, but not like that. Last night, Murray ended speculation that he will go elsewhere with this tweet, which read, following my heart, gig him. It's not over yet for Aggie fans. Murray may be committed to A&M, but he hasn't even fully committed to play college football. Murray will likely be a first round pick in June's Major League Baseball draft, and if he is, He'll be offered a lot of money to do that instead of play college football. A lot of these kids don't have these opportunities, uh, you know, to have both, you know, uh, options. You know, my, like I said, my dad always tells me, you know, it's good to have options. So uh, just uh, I'll wait till June and whatever happens, happens. Murray is a special athlete, arguably the best quarterback in Texas high school football history. But it's his future that everyone is talking about. Ted Madden, Channel 8 Sports in Allen. I moved to Allen my sophomore year. He was probably only 14 at the time. As he came in, uh, we kind of worked him in a little bit. Um, he, came, he was a backup quarterback. We had a senior uh, starter. Uh, Oliver Pierce was the starting quarterback at that point in time that had gone through spring football. We kind of rotated a little bit back and forth, and at some point they kind of had to make the call. He's a little bit better. I think it was after you know five or six games. We lost the fifth game, lost it in overtime, but Kyler kind of comes in and, and, and plays well in the second half of that game. 
and we I decided to make the move and you know, anytime you do have a quarterback change uh, a team can separate or come together and uh, the leader that Oliver was made it come together and he moves back to inside receiver. We all held each other accountable and I think that's why we're so great. For Oliver to do what he did was very unselfish. Um, you know, he did it for the team. Kyler takes over as a starting quarterback and uh, we don't ever look back. Tyler Murray, from the time he was a sophomore, was the most polished quarterback I've ever seen in high school. As a coach, you know what it is when you see it, but can you, you can't coach it. And he's just a really smart player, and you, com you combine his awareness and his speed and his athleticism. Uh, he's just, again, he's the total package. He's the fastest player I've ever seen running in Pat. He had such vision and smarts, and he had an arm like a, you know, a cannon. He never seemed flustered. That's about as good as it gets, right, for a quarterback. He's a perfectionist, that's what he is. And so, uh, as a leader, that's what you want, uh, and, and as a quarterback especially. I feel like the most special thing about Tyler is his mindset. He doesn't give a damn what the score is, who the opponent is. Like, we're, we're going to come out on top of this game. You know what I'm saying? If, if, I, if I can have the ball in my hand one more time, we're, we're going to come out on top. There's so many uh, over the years of runs that he's made, of passes that he's thrown, of games where we're behind by 20 and win by 20 because he just goes to work. Allen and DeSoto for a couple years, I think it was like four years in a row, we were just able to pull it out at the end and Kyler was obviously a big reason for that. Well, I think something that you know uh, not many people know about is the two-point conversion against DeSoto. Um, you know, we were down, I want to say 17 in the fourth quarter. Uh, against a good DeSoto team, everybody knows who DeSoto is if you know if you're from Texas. So, um, you know, we had a two-point conversion, um, and it, it, you just had to be there. And that touchdown he scored right there at the end, it was just, it's just so Tyler Murray because it was like. I just like in a game that's that competitive, you know what I'm saying? For him to be able to have the last lap. He played in the largest classification. He never lost a game. And they were playing all the powers in the state. And Allen would always find a way to win. And they would find a way to win because Kyler Murray would find a way to win. He bailed their out so many times. We had the best quarterback in the state of Texas ever. And we had the best. And we won every game with the best. Coach Westy's right. If you look through the history, look at the teams, look at the look at the just go look at the amount of guys that you know are in the NFL now. We played them all, and we, we beat them all. It, it is something to be very proud of, um, especially you know the city of Allen to do it how we did it. And when you win 43 straight, you win three state championships. That's something that you know will probably never be done again. This is KXHD News at 10. Do you expect Kyler to start the bowl game? Yes, I do. That was Aggie football coach Kevin Sumlin addressing the media after practice Wednesday with quarterback Kyle Allen leaving the program last week. Sumlin was expecting freshman Kyler Murray to start in the Music City Bowl later this month, but obviously that's not going to happen. Let's bring in sports director Lee Benson to explain Tell the viewers what's going on here. Yeah, Tashara, you just heard Kevin someone say, as of yesterday, he said that he expected Kyle Murray to be here in Aggieland wow. for that Music City Bowl later this month. But today we found out that Murray has left the football program and has been granted his release. Murray becomes the second Aggie quarterback in the past week to transfer away from the program after Kyle Allen decided that he was moving on last Thursday. Both players were five-star recruits coming out of high school and now they've both walked out the door. It's an unprecedented scenario that has Aggie fans feeling quite uneasy. Uh, it's not a good situation that A&M football has going on, especially with the departure of Kyle Allen as well. I mean, really hope that Huberneck can come in and do something for the bowl game, at least against Louisville in a couple weeks. But it's going to be a crazy offseason to see what goes on with coaches leaving hopefully and uh, new incomers of a quarterback at least. It's kind of like heartbreaking because you want your quarterback to stay, you want them to grow and he had potential, like no doubt he had potential, but it's just, I don't know, it leaves you in an uneasy situation. Like you love your Aggies, 
you want him to do good, but now with your quarterbacks leaving, it uh, kind of leaves you in an awkward position. Now, after the news broke, Murray addressed his fans on Twitter earlier tonight saying, quote, to all my family, friends, and fans out there, I thank you for your love and support. He goes on to say he wishes nothing but the best to all the guys in the locker room. Now, with Murray gone, Jake Hubenek should be in line to be the starting quarterback in the Music City Bowl later this month on December 30th. Two quarterbacks gone in a, in a week. week. It's pretty crazy, right? It's crazy. I heard so much about Kyler Murray coming out of high school. He eats, this is a mouthful I'm about to say, he may. It will clean better, point up. About a mile from Eagle Stadium, home to the five-time state champs, you'll find two shops across the street from each other. Rodenbaugh's and Allen Flower Shop, both home to some huge Eagle fans with vivid memories. A quarterback that not only was a quarterback, was a running back, was, a, was a anything you needed on the field back. Vivid memories of now Sooners quarterback Kyler Murray. Just a phenomenal athlete. 186 total touchdowns in three years. Gatorade's National Player of the Year is a senior. How can he be this good? And he just was. Of course, now when we watch him play for OU, every now and then he, you know, will run across the goal line and he does this little hop across the goal line. We're like, yep, that's Kyler, the little hop across the goal line. <laughs> I know we're biased here at Allen, but I think he was he's the best high school football player in the history of uh, Texas, you know, and I know he's the best one I've ever seen. Three straight state championships and a national title. 43-0 and as a starter. And he did a lot of that damage at the same stadium he plays at on Saturday. I mean, he's very comfortable there. Yeah. <laughs> he won three state championships at AT&T Stadium. He got some great history in at and I'm not sure he's ever lost a game in AT&T Stadium. He hasn't. Heck, he's only lost two games ever. But Saturday is a chance to get revenge for one of them. Where, I mean, it doesn't matter where we play him. Uh, you know, this is for the Big 12 championship. Oklahoma is just... But others, he's converted. We are OU fans because we like just, we enjoy watching Kyler play. That's why Kyler Murray is the best player in college football. Michael Asley, Channel 8 Sports. It, the name will be around for a long time. Alan. <laughs> 11 o'clock uh, Saturday morning on oh, Channel yeah. 8. If you're not going to the stadium, watch it on Channel 8. It's going to be big. Right. It's going to be a great one. Mm -hmm. Should be. Okay, Heisman trophies are manufactured in Oklahoma and for the second year in a row. It's going back to that state. First time one school's ever had back to back quarterbacks. Kyler, has it sunk in yet? You've been a Heisman fan. You've watched this yeah. thing one. How was the experience compared when you were the man? Uh, honestly, um, I was expecting to be so nervous, uh, but you know, I was I was pretty cool about it. Um, but like you said, to go back to back with Bake, um, you know, a, gr a good friend of mine, uh, Texas relations. I, I can't put it in words. I, it hasn't sunk in. Um, it's just, this is incredible. The question on everyone's mind, will Kyler Murray stick to the plan and play baseball, or will he test the waters of the NFL? A good position to be in, but a tough decision to make.